Three days of mourning for former Afghan President Burhanuddin Rabbani ended today with a memorial in Kabul. He was murdered earlier this week by a suicide bomber with explosives hidden in his turban at a meeting for peace talks with the Taliban. Mandy Clark is in Kabul. Mandy, let me ask you, first of all, what has the murder of Rabbani done to the peace process there? Well, the process has probably died with Rabbani. Prior to his murder, U.S. and Afghan officials had claimed there had been some progress towards reconciliation with insurgents. But with his death, it appears that it's a categorical rejection by militants of any peace plan. And it's very difficult to see how any talks can be revived at this stage. And if there is no peace negotiation, then victory has to come from the battlefield. But U.S. troops are already withdrawing, and the Afghan forces are not ready to step up yet. Rabani's death has also caused ethnic tensions. Rabani was an uh, ethnic Tajik from the north. Now the Taliban is a largely Pashtun movement from the south and it has alienated a lot of tribes here. So Rabani was seen as the elder statesman who could bridge that ethnic divide. Mandy, how would you describe the atmosphere at Rabani's funeral yesterday? There was real anger. Uh, thousands of mourners had turned up to the funeral, and there was live coverage of the event. But it was stopped short when Rabani supporters started throwing rocks at official cars and chanting anti-government and anti-U.S. slogans, angered by their support of peace talks with the Taliban. There was also a very strong anti-Pakistani sentiment. Many people here blamed their neighbor for stirring up violence here and providing safe havens for insurgents who operate in Afghanistan. Mandy Clark in Kabul. Thank you very much.